Yes. The Breakfast Club, bitches. Who's Donkey <clears throat> today? today? <laughs> yes, Donkey today for Thursday, March 18th, goes to Robert Aaron Long and Captain Jay Baker. You know, I thought about uh, being level-headed about this situation. I thought about how can I approach this situation without being emotional, and I've come to the conclusion that I can't. No, nah, it's impossible. If you're not pissed off about these white domestic terrorists, I have to ask, what the hell is wrong with you? Okay, white supremacist violence is and always has been the number one threat to our society. Okay, last year, the Center for uh, Strategic and International Studies said white supremacist groups have carried out a majority of terrorist plots and attacks. 67% of all terrorist plots and attacks in the first eight months of the year last year were done by white supremacist groups. Okay, the Department of Homeland Security, I repeat, the Department Department of Homeland Security last October said white supremacists remain the deadliest U.S. terror threat. The report said since 2018, white supremacists have conducted more lethal attacks in the U.S. than any other domestic extremist movement. Yet the media don't act like it. As a black man in this country, I have watched black people be demonized even when we are the victim. Mike Brown, rest in peace, 18 years old. Darren Wilson described him as a demon. That was his exact words. He said verbatim, uh, it, not he, it looked like a demon. Okay, Darren Wilson said he felt like a five-year-old holding on to Hulk Hogan. Meanwhile, Darren is 6'4", Mike Brown was 6'4", Darren was 2'10", Mike was 292. Yeah, there was a weight difference, but guess what, Darren? <clears throat> you had a gun, okay? But my point is Mike Brown was demonized. Trayvon Martin, 17-year-old, victim, killed by George Zimmerman. All he had was some Skittles and some iced tea. Zimmerman guns him down, but at the trial, Zimmerman's legal team portrayed Trayvon Martin as a thug who wore hoodies and gold teeth, showed pictures of him throwing up his middle finger, made him out to be a thug, but he's the one who got killed. But when it's Robert Aaron Long, 21 years old, white man, for some reason, they don't get demonized. In fact, they get something black people never get, not even from our own people, but that's another story. The benefit of the doubt. Let me step back for a second. Hold on, take a sip of my Starbucks. Mm. Let me... Step back for a second and let y'all know what Robert Aaron Long did. Let's go to WXIA NBC 11 for the report, please. Now to new developments in the deadly spa shooting rampage. The man suspected in the killings will not have a court appearance today. The Cherokee County clerk of courts telling us that Robert Aaron Long's court appearance has been canceled. No reason given. Authorities say the 21-year-old confessed to the killings that left eight people dead and one critically injured on Tuesday. The majority of the victims, Asian women. Investigators say Long told them it was not racially motivated and that he saw these businesses as, quote, temptation when it came to his sexual addiction. The shootings taking place at three separate spas, one in Cherokee County and two in Midtown Atlanta. This man confessed to the killing already, but media still reports him as a suspect. OK, I was looking at a news report on CNN updated at 10.06 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, the headline what we know about Robert Aaron Long, the suspect in Atlanta spa shootings. He's not no damn suspect. He's guilty. You know how we know? Because he told us. OK, but he's white. So when you're white and you have the complexion for the protection, you get protected. Now, I want you to keep in mind how we as black people get demonized in the media. Think about how they described, you know, the Trayvon Martin and Martins and Michael Browns of the world. And now listen to Captain Jay Baker describe Robert Aaron Long. Um, when I, when we, I spoke with investigators, they interviewed him this morning, and I, uh, they got that impression that, yes,